Or stormtroopers. Anytime one gets shot, or anytime one says something, that comes from the blue group. So we'll notice an explosion happen here soon. behind the fence here in a second, you'll see. The next guy you see coming up. There he is. There's that explosion I was talking about. all this work I've been doing on the Planet of the Apes movies, rubbing off a little. <laughs> they're back. Oh, they're back. Huh? Okay. Okay, so that's that. That's what that looks like when it's done. So now, I'm gonna, we're going to do some acting. We're going to do a scene. Um, so I'm going to close this one. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a thing. Uh, there's... One of the elements about voice acting is called the beeps. Has anyone heard of the beeps before? One person? Okay. So basically, the way that we know when to start the voice acting is that we hear a series of three beeps. It's basically And where the fourth beep would be, like if we were keeping a rhythm, that's the exact spot where we need to start vocalizing. So it's like Yes, 
yes, I did see that. <laughs> right, like whatever the scene is. You can use your foot. You can, I, I like to just kind of like silently tap my heel. You can kind of see, you know, my heel is just like this, you know, like you would tap on a song or something. Just as soon as I start hearing the beeps, it's just like, Yes. Okay, so that's, that's a real important part. We're going to be hearing the beeps here in a second. Okay, go ahead and talk. So some really important skills to have if you want to do looping is improv. Because, like, you walk into that studio and you don't know what's going to be on that list. And so you're one of, going, going to be able to improv and be able to be that ape or be that guy in the corner or the guy in the cafe and think of a conversation or be the police officer, the newscaster, the sportscaster, you know, the, the doctor in the emergency room. So improv is a very, very important skill. And I would say in voice acting in general, but especially in looping. Also, if you speak another language, speaking more than one language or multiple languages is very, very helpful. There are so many films where they're visiting France or in the background they have, like Jurassic Park, I think, had people from all over the world. They were calling in different actors that could speak, you know, Italian, French, and all different languages. So that's another really, really important skill. As you can see, when the guy was whipping the ape, he was almost doing the exact mm -hmm. same motion. So the ability when you're in an individual, and this is in any studio, you have to be very aware of the sound. Your clothing should be something that doesn't make noise. Like a stiff shirt would make a lot of noise, or pants, or a fabric that's noisy. Jewelry and things you don't want to wear in the studio. And you want to be able to, you're running, but you can't make those noise on the floor, but you have to get the energy, <sighs> I'm running, I'm running, right? So it's a physicality that helps you connect and, and, and express what's happening on the screen through just your voice. Even though we don't see us, you're gonna see him whipping the ape. So he was watching and mimicking how he was doing it on the screen. So that's very helpful. So to be able to do that in a quiet way. Also, we're gonna do some group stuff. So if the group is running or cheering, you want to be very careful that you don't hit somebody or knock them out or elbow somebody, you know, or hurt yourself. So being very aware of your environment and still being able to have the energy, like to get that energy up if you're a crowd scene, which we're going to be doing next. So you can have a lot of energy and you have to sustain that energy for a while. It might be two or three minutes when you're cheering at a football stadium and you can't let it die off all of a sudden. So... Yes. That still direct us more on that. Okay, so this first scene we're going to do is from this Disney movie called Possums. I don't know if anyone ever saw it. It's about a football team that uh, has a you know, little town that's got this football team that does all this great stuff. So I'm going to play it for you real quick, the scene we're going to be doing. And if you watch, you'll see there's no audio. This lady says something here. There's a football team running by. The crowd is going ballistic. This guy's got something to say. And then, you know, they cut back and forth between, you know, that old guy in the front and this guy with the hat. And then that's kind of, they cheer on and it's, this guy runs in and it's done. Proud mom and I think it finishes right there. Okay, so that's, that's a quick little scene. But there's a lot of layers to that, all those people and the wall of bed. So, what I'd like to do is start by doing, as we said, the bed is the first thing. So if I could, anyone who would like to participate, I'd like to, if you could just raise your hand, I'm going to pick about... Six people. Go ahead. Yes, you. 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 Come on up. You. We have three you. Over here. You. 